everyone, welcome to Figure Fantasy. Today we'll be discussing gearing, gear sets, recommended gears, uh, badges, and everything you need to know about gears. Learning on the presets, so um, that you don't lose your gears, you actually have to save them as presets. So all of the gears uh, belong to one plan, so save to plan. So for me, I already saved all of them at plan A. So if you already have set your gears, please do save them as a plan so that you can go back to them if you if you know if you try to experiment on on your group or your your specific uh gears for a specific hero even if you you unequip them and equip them to another another uh figure then you can still go back to to the plan so for me it's going to be plan a if i am going to do another plan i'm just gonna put the plan b so confirm. So right now I have um, I have two plans here. I have plan A and plan B. So just in case that I want to, both right now are the same. If I want to um, tinker with the the same line, uh, the, the same you know the same heroes but with a different gear, I'd go to plan B, then change you know a little bit, then save it. Uh, let's say, for example, I want to change this into defense. So, this is for my plan B. This is for Zarola. Then, there you go. So, save plan. Okay, so, it's now applied to plan B. So, if one would revert, revert to plan A, you can just simply put plan A and apply it and it goes back to the previous one next is uh we're gonna talk about more on um the sets that uh, that we have available especially in the in or as a starting player okay so our sets uh right now um the basic sets i'll start with ultimate so my reference for ultimate is usually zarola because Zarola has a great ultimate that you need to more or less um, enhance more. So a great recipient for ultimate is going to be Zarola. Next is going to be um, Zhao Yun. Zhao Yun is a good candidate for attack set and crit set. So he is, um, he is uh, good for both of those sets. So don't hesitate to equip attack and crit set to Zhao Yun. Next, it's it's going to be Erixia. So Erixia. Erixia is going to be sorry, Erixia and Zephyr. They are both um needing health sets. Okay. They, they they will be needing another set in the future, which is a support set. But if you don't have support, uh they will be good recipients for all health sets. Okay, so Erixia and Z uh, Zephyr would be good. Uh, another one, let's just uh, look for him. Crusos here is a good recipient for your defensive set. So another one, um, another set is I think good for him is Life Lifesteal, but I, it's not available yet. I haven't opened um, some portions of, um, of the big three. So I'm forced to bring in defensive set. Heal set is actually unique because it would be, it's actually going to be good for Megan. Megan, since uh, she has a shield with together with the, with her defensive set, is going to be great. Heal set, um, just want to give you guys um, an idea. So health restoration and shield effect plus 12%. So it gives her a plus 12% for her shield. So that is why health set is actually great for her. And your um, the other one, the last one, is actually your skill set, which I actually gave to Yuna. I wanted to give Yuna a bigger attack because the skill set gives you basic attack power aside from your attack set. So both attack set and skill set gives you more attack uh, damage or attack stat. Okay, so those are your sets for the moment there are certain bonuses guys that i want you to also be aware 
Um, let's go back to Erixia uh, and uh, uh, yeah, Erixia. Erixia, just to give you guys a heads up, um, is needing support, support bonus. So also take a look at your parts if there are certain support bonuses that your sets are giving you. Like for for example, this one it gives her twelve percent support. Um, it's actually among these. I'm not. Yeah, it's it's here. So six percent. So please be wary about that. And also try to. There are there are some um, figures that need accuracy bonuses. So one of them is Suzuki. So as you can see here, he has an adjustment with an accuracy bonus. Um, this is the chance to freeze. So also consider uh, looking at his um, his uh, set if how much accuracy bonus are they giving him. So as for the boots, as you can see here, it's actually 12.6%, which is actually big. So those are the things that you should consider when trying to equip. Also, as you've seen here, um, I've, I've already enhanced some of my weapons, uh, some of my gear or parts. Um, just want to share with you guys that enhance only the, the ones of the higher rarity, um, not the blue ones because you could only get this up to plus three. Unlike the striped ones or the purple ones, you can get them up to, up to, um, plus six. So as you can see here, plus six and then uh, where's another plus six. So as you can, uh, oh, here. Um, it's uh, actually only plus three because it's a blue one. Badges are also important. So try to mix and match your badges. There's not really a, you know, a must for badges. It's it's about you uh, customizing your um, your figures. So for, I just want to uh, show an example for, for Zhao Yun. His badge is this one, so uh, end time divinity badge. So it basic attacks have a thirty percent chance to deal extra damage equal to eighty percent of attack, which is actually great for him. Most of my better badges are with my first five. So again, even here with Vazruin, so boost damage against enemies that are frosted because she deals frosted damage, and also for um, Zarola, this is geared towards more damage for ultimate and. I think um, I'll share with you this you guys. Um, if you have um, Krosos and if you have this uh, this badge, this badge is very good for him because um, if he receives lethal damage before he dies, he activates a shield. So more um, more um, sustainability or survivability for him. You could also equip this to Megan. Let's go back to. The gear equip. So, um, in this portion, um, you can actually um, view it here. Then equip. Then if you click on precise equip, it will give you a recommendation of a specific set or sets. It's really up to you. This is just a guide, guys. If you want to follow this, uh, even better. But again, um, try to make sure that um, you understand why they are recommending this before you use it so that you could build your teams even better. If you can see here in the, in the um, pre, uh, recommended gears, there are future gears here that we will be seeing. So lifesteal set, energy set, support set, quick attack set, which is more attack speed. And for your two-piece, um, we will have here will set, which is gi which gives us crit damage plus 15, and basic attack power for the skill set, as as you've seen already. So again, as you are able to farm the big three, they will be giving you higher or you know a more more harder to find sets as you level up on each floor of the big three okay guys so my discussion for the gear set hopefully helped you in deciding on how to properly equip your figures 
um, what works well with who, what type of hero works well with this particular set. And don't forget to use the recommendation because it will guide you, but it's not really that uh, it's, it's not really that you follow it it's more of a guide um, on which path you ultimately would have to take your figures and how you would build them it would really be up to you okay guys so thank you very much for staying this far in this video so hopefully guys um uh, for those who have subscribed please subscribe because this helps my channel a lot and also don't forget to click that bell icon so you don't miss any figure fantasy videos and put a like to this video thank you very much take care stay safe this is warden and i'm out of here